she bought it there. Married for 25 years with six children, a lone tree man learned something about himself that will change his family and his entire life. He sat down with Hama Muller, who's here now with his story, a story you'll see only on Fox 31 Denver. Hama. Ron, Steve Christilius is a prominent local photographer. He's lived his entire life as a man, but recently discovered he is in fact a female. Now he's making the transition from Steve to Stevie. This one went around the world. This is a, a, during Obama's acceptance speech. Steve Christilius has had a stunning career as a photographer, but behind the camera, he was hiding. I remember you know, wearing my mom's clothes and makeup very secretly, not telling anybody. From a young age, Steve identified more with being a female, but hid behind a male persona. When I was 17, I was working my first part-time job working for a TV station as a floor cameraman, and the, the person in charge said to me, you know, you walk like a queer. And I thought I was hiding who I was, and I wasn't. Fast forward about 40 years. I had a kidney stone, and we're in the, the emergency room, and the nurse is reading the ultrasound and says, huh, this says you're female. Steve was born intersex, meaning he has both male and female parts. The diagnosis was a shock, but also a relief. It validated how I always felt inside. So he decided to slowly start living as the woman you see now, Stevie. But she had more than just herself to think about. How do you tell your kids that, well, you know, it's no longer dad, it's dadette. Stevie and wife Debbie have six children. Within a few minutes, all of them said, I don't care. Dad, I love you for who you are. Nearly five years after that ultrasound, Stevie and Debbie are still together. I asked Debbie why she chose to stay. I didn't sign on for this, but who signs on for anything? She's the same person she was as a he on the inside. The two still share an intimate relationship based on more than sex or gender. We do share a bedroom. We even share the same bed. She still relates to my heart and soul, and I still re to relate to hers, and I think that that's the essence of, of true love. With the support of her family and friends, Stevie is now living the life she's always dreamed of. It's so liberating to be able to be and express how I feel inside. And by sharing her story, she hopes others will be inspired to embrace their true selves the way she has. I am the luckiest woman in the world. I don't think that there's any way that I could be more blessed. Stevie says most of her friends and clients have accepted her for who she is now. Now, a lot of people wonder about gender reassignment surgery. She says at this stage in life, it's not something she plans to do. She does take hormones, but that will be the extent of her transformation. It's a fascinating it story. Is. You liked Stevie a lot, didn't you? She was fantastic. And she and Debbie, I mean, you can just sense just what a great couple they are. That, that love is just, it's palpable. Yeah, Debbie appears to be an incredible person. Yeah, they're a great couple. And uh, Stevie does a lot of great photography, as you can see there photographs a lot of really important events in town so you'll see yeah, her around really I'm sure. interesting story thanks not only that but it took a lot of courage sure, for her to, to do her that to do, so yeah. hats off to her incredible yeah. story absolutely fast fingers and a soulful voice one Denver musician is ready to bust into the music scene Meet Zach Heckendorf, just 19 years old and a self-made rock star. How this Denver teenager managed to make it big all on his own. A group of teachers take a break from the classroom to get a haircut.